Who the fuck is that? I'm gonna show y'all how I beat my face for my visa photos. All right, for that snatch look, I'm using a gua sha. I've only done it on this side and you can kind of see how much more lifted my face already is. Can you tell? Before, after. Honestly, it really could be a placebo effect, but I think that it works, okay? This is from Satchel Beauty, by the way. I know I'm not tripping. Look at my cheekbone. It goes out so much more. If you want your makeup to look good, you have to moisturize. I literally have holes in my face. They're actually moon craters, but I'm gonna use the Smashbox Photo Finish Minimize Pores Primer, warm that up between my fingers and only use a little bit and then put it on. If you don't warm it up, it just doesn't blend in as well. I don't know about you, but I have like oil spills on my nose, so I don't put any primer on there because if I do, then nothing sticks on it. Then going in with the Morphe 2 Hint Hint Skin Tint. Usually I use a beauty blender, but today we're going full coverage, so I'm gonna use a brush and blend this all in. Ah, I forgot, I do my eyebrows first. Here I am lathering my brows in brow glue, just wait. If you let the brow glue tack up, it sticks so much better. I'm gonna let those dry and then go in with another layer of foundation. We are caking today. I have yet to find a better and more affordable foundation than this one. Using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 22 just to brighten up my face. I already did this half, but I'm just going in with the same foundation brush just to blend it all in. Maybelline Instant Age Rewind for me is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury whatever one. It's just so much cheaper. And I'm just taking it on a brush just because I feel like it blends so much better. Just like Mario said, always blend up. Since it's a passport photo, I'm gonna bring the contour out a little more than I usually do so you can see down the middle of the neck. I just saw, um, I forgot her name, do this. And it really does give the illusion of a snatch face. Don't put it here, only down the middle of the neck. I'm just gonna tap in the concealer on my nose. I'm just gonna go in with a wet beauty blender that I sprayed with the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray and just lightly tap everywhere just to make sure that everything is blended in. Right, for under the eyes, I'm using the Huda Beauty in Pound Cake. I've talked about this so many times before, but if you want no creases whatsoever, use this powder. I'll see I upgraded. I don't have my powder in a bag anymore. I just bought a new one. Oh, we ball it. But I'm gonna take the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder and just really highlight the parts that I want to look snatched on camera. And I'm not bringing out too much because my face is really wide. I'm going in with more powder to carve out my face because the camera's not gonna pick up the cream contour. If you put contour right here, it gives the illusion of like really high cheekbones. I have a full dedicated tutorial for nose contour on my TikTok, but I'm gonna go in with the Cover FX Moja Mob. How, how do you say it? Someone tell me how to say it. But I'm gonna cake this on because you can't see blush in pictures. 